Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing absolutely great. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to design this birthday flyer. So if you're just joining us for the first time, this is just graphics. And in this channel, I teach how to make graphics, how to design graphics using your smartphone. So you should want to learn how to design on your smartphone, considering subscribing to the channel, liking the video and sharing to your friends. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So the first step here is to change your design size to this exact size. So I'm going to take this and um, to do that, you will head over to this place and then we click on image size and change whatever we are seeing to 1024 width and 1280 height. So if you change it to this exact um, numbers, you will get this canva size, all right? So after we've done this, the next thing now is to import the image we are going to use, all right? So the image I'm going to import right now is in PNG format, meaning I've removed the background. Had it been is with a background, so it will be in JPG format, all right? So if you want to turn your image that is in JPG format, that's with a background, If you want to turn it to PNG, you need to erase the background, all right? And to do that, I use, I would recommend you to use Photoroom because that's what I use. And um, if you don't want to use Photoroom, you cannot remove.bg. Just type remove.bg on Play Store or on Google. Search Photoroom on Play Store or on Google. All right, all right let me show you guys Photoroom. So this is Play Store, and then you just search for all right. Let me on my data. Just search for um photo room. So I think I'm having a bit of pawn network, so I just want the image to show before I continue. Okay, so this is the image, photo room. I will use remove.bg, but I would recommend you to use photo room. Remove BG. Okay, this is also another way in which you can remove your photo background. Okay, so let's continue with our design. From here, I'll go over to my I'll click on this place and then I'll click on imports. I'll go to my um okay, my gallery. And then I'll go to photo room where all my erased backgrounds are. I will pick this one. And I'll go again and um, pick this one, okay? Then I'll go again and pick another one. This one. All right. So once I'm done here, the next thing I'm going to do is to position it in the way I want it, just like you. You saw it on the thumbnail, so I'm going to put this, reduce this a bit. So, what's the size here? Okay, I think I should use 49. 49 and 60 heights. I'll bring it over here. 
and then I will reduce this one to to the same 49 49 as okay 49 and then I'll go over to my crop and transform this to face this side okay this way so just click on this and then you can change the angle okay I'll bring it downward to, to this side okay let me space this out now I'll increase this so go to relative size and increase to your desired size okay I think this is good for me and then I'll raise it up a bit something like this it's great okay from here I will lock my images and then I will go to import again go to my downloads and I will choose okay I think I downloaded something I'll choose this blow effect and then I'll bring it downward okay, I'll increase it I'll bring it downward to cover the edges of my bigger picture this one the one that is exposed let me hide this as you can see this one is exposed once once i enable this it will be what blowed okay now i will enable this back now and um i'll take this my blow effect just hold it control shift to this place in between the one the big image and um have this okay from here what i'll do next now is to um writing my test okay i would like to write my test first before i will then proceed with the background design okay i'll go over to my test click on i write the dates 11th okay 11th february which is tomorrow 11th february with the dots and then i'll check this i'll bring it this over here okay let me change the position then i'll come to fonts okay i'll come to fonts first font click on fonts and then i will choose okay the recent font i use so guys everything i'm going to be using on this tutorial i will drop the link below the description so once you're done you can go ahead to download the, the font the images the blur effect everything i'm using i'm going to drop the links to my google drive where you can download them so I'm going to choose um Helvetic house okay and then I will align it to the center after that I'll click on line spacing and I will bring this closer a bit not too close but I think this should be great or oh, a little bit okay this is nice I will draw it I'll change the position bring it closer here and then I'll copy this and type um, my celebrant name praise I just chose the name praise praise okay I'll bring it over here I'll go ahead to import um there's a birthday happy birthday test i downloaded earlier although you can decide to type it yourself here but then i like the font so i just downloaded it i'll go over to import to my downloads and then i'll import it so this is it i reduce it to fit this place remember guys this font exists you can decide to use your phone to type the birthday test but i just like this and then I'll go over to change the praise fonts. Okay, let me go to fonts. And then the font I used was um, okay. I used um, yeah, I used born hide. Now let me increase this a bit. So I align the 
Edith tests with a celebrant name. Just this way. Okay, let me reduce this a bit to around 30. Bring it closer to the celebrant name. And then I'll reduce this name. Reduce it a bit. Okay. This is great. Okay, let me reduce this as well. This is great too. Once I'm done with this, I will go over to type my wishes. So I'll click on this and then I think I copied something earlier. I'll try to paste it. Yeah. Yes. Then I'll reduce it using um, the size button. I'll bring it somewhere here. Reduce this further because once this thing is in portrait mode, it will be bigger. So I'll bring it bring it over here okay so let me go ahead to change the fonts to make it bold okay what should i use okay Montserrat bold and then i'll capitalize everything so i'll go back to tests edit capitalize everything okay let me delete this So reduce it this way, okay, and then I'll make sure, let me zoom out, and I'll make sure it's positioned at the center, go back to relative position and click on this center button, and then that's it. Now the next thing now is to import our background, I'll go back to import. I will click on downloads then I will import the design element I use this one this so I'm going to this we give a better look to our design all right all right so let me leave this for now come back to this I will log this and leave this I'll go ahead to change the color of my test click on the 11th click on a then color Click on this plus button, click on the paint button. I'll choose one of my image and then I'll choose a light wine. Click on this, check this. And then we'll have our color. I'll click on praise as well. And then go to color, choose the color. And the color was selected for 11th February will be shown here. That's the last color you use. I will click on it and then I'll check this. Now I'll click on the bed test and go over here then go to color enable this and then i'll click on the plus button because i want to use a different color click on the plus button then the paint bucket now I'll choose this dark wine and then i'll select it dark red or wine select it now we'll have our colors click on my test my wishes and then change it to complete black so we just need to click it's already in black but this black's faded i'll click on the plus icon and then i'll extend this towards the black side so it will be completely black so guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video if this video really helps and as well share this share the video okay with that being said let's continue from here i will Go over to my layers. This are my layers. Click on this and then I will see the steps. These are the steps used in the design. Okay, then I will look for um the design elements I imported, which is this this last one. I will go over to this place and then I will change the color. Click on color, enable this, and then I will make my color white. So just scroll and then click on white. Alright, so let me make this okay. Sorry. Let me lock all other layers apart from when I lock this, I won't be able to move them. Apart from the last this one. Okay, I'll click on this. And let me extend it, make it bolder. Okay, this way.
All right, let me leave it this way. Now I'll go over to my gallery. So I'll click on import and then albums, downloads, and then I'll choose this background. Okay, then I click on this. And from here, I will go over to my rotate angle and I will tweak this or twist it to an angle 90 degrees. Okay. Then from here, I would extend this to fit my screen. So just extend until you have a balanced stuff. Okay. And I'll go over to my layers, long press and shift to the end. Okay, something like this. Now, as you can see, this is not totally looking great with the design element um, opacity very high. So I'll go over to my design element, this one. Okay, this one. And then I'll go over to opacity. Then I'll reduce this to about 40% to make it a little bit faded and then make it glass like okay all right so let me space out this stuff this one again a little bit and then uh, i space out this one as well a little bit okay then i can decide to increase this again our oh, tests where is it let me increase. So this is much more better. So from here, you can save your designs since we are good to go. You can save your designs by clicking on this place, save as image, and then you choose ultra quality very high and then you save click on save so guys this that is all for how to make this awesome design consider liking the video subscribing and sharing the video and see you all in my next tutorial so just click on save and then we're done